so got another video for you last video i said i think these were hers because i saw the doll eyes but apparently they're a mixture of mine and hers she didn't sort them so let's see what we got uh it looks like a cat hugging a pumpkin a uh, doll this one's a coral lady this one's another coral lady apparently she got both of us a coral lady I don't know if the cat with the pumpkin's mine, but I'll put that over there. This is her dogs, I'm pretty sure. Or no, she got both of us the dogs. So these two are doubles. Um, okay, this is a double as well. I want this girl in a larger size, but that isn't the larger size. So I'm going to say that's hers. This is the same cat hugging the pumpkin here, so I guess that's for both of us. Sunflowers, we'll call that hers. What do we got in here? Ah. Oh, this is an Amazon. Sorry. This one's an Amazon per purchase. I have a few Amazon diamond paintings for you guys. I'm gonna call this one hers. Call that one hers. Then she got a duplicate of it, so I guess it's mine as well. What is this? Ah, oh, this girl. And this girl. Small one. This girl is this girl. So that's hers. That's mine. <sighs> okay, we each got a snake lady too, apparently. What is this? This is a double of this, right? Yeah. Okay, so... That. This one is a double of this one. And this one's hers. Okay, so I am assuming these are all hers. There's a few of these that might have went either way, but most of these are here for both her and I, so... We're going to start with these small ones. This is a small one, just fold it the other way. I don't know if she got this one for me because it's a person and a dragon. She might have thought that this would be a mine, but no. Because it's only a 20 by 30. It's on photo paper, though. I wouldn't mind doing a larger picture, possibly, but there's that. I don't think it's going to turn out. Uh, but with the larger three place there. You do got the canvas number on the bag there. And it is pre-bagged. Very nice colors. So I'm just going to try to slide the sticker in here so if she wants to put it on the bag she can if she wants to put it on something else she can but i'm not so sure i would say to buy this one i'm not sure how that's gonna look looks better in camera than it does in person i also hate that it's folded in half it keeps wanting to fold back up down that channel in the middle So since it's a 20, we're looking for 15. It looks like it's maybe one or two under 15. 
And since it's 30, we're looking for 25. And we have 25 on the dots. So, again, I don't think you're going to have an issue with the drill field. But... I don't know if you're going to see a lady and a dragon. Dogs, can we please behave? one hopefully the bird turns out Oops. plain old drill kit numbers on the bags look at a cute bird sitting on books a little bit of flowers it looks pretty decent honestly Again, I normally try to upload these in order, but there's some videos that jump in front and sometimes, depending on length, I might skip one and go to a different one because I don't feel like editing that long or something or I don't have the time to edit that long or whatever. So, if I say something about a painting and you haven't seen it, it's possible the video hasn't been released yet, but it's also possible you just like kind of missed it. I don't know. However, I'm going to say that because I opened a pig one of these and a frog one that was a 20 by 30 that I thought looked really good in a 20 by 30 and told my mom she had to finish them or get me one so she might be working on those for us so we got the 16 random letters and again very clear drill field very nice drill field other than the smudge here I'm guessing I'll just call that an F, but that's a weird smudge right there. Sorry about the dogs. Will you guys stop being grumbly, please? Yes, you. Oh, sorry, we didn't look at the drills for the other one, did we? Pinks, grays, greens, purples, and a bunch of blues. Plain boat with nothing. And this one's a darker color palette, blue, really dark blue. Almost looks black, but I don't think that's black. There's the navy blue type color back there. Browns, again some more dark blues. There's some purples and pinks in there. <sighs> All right. Sorry. One dog's grumbling. The other dog's running around in circles in his kennel, and it's one of those nights. All right, so very dark looking butterfly here. You got 14 colors. <coughs> D's, P's, what is that letter? U? The U is very blurry. Can you guys see that? So can you guys see right here these U's? They're quite blurry. Those are U's. Everything else looks pretty decent. Definitely a confetti heavy painting. But there's this one. I 
All right, let's go with the other ones that are double-sided. There is either a lot more double-sided on Timu, or there's a seller or two that has a lot of paintings we like that are double-sided. I don't know which way it is, but... Small bags. Ugh. At least they're stacked nicely so you can see the colors in there. And this witch thingy. I think this might actually be a ripoff of somebody's artwork. She kind of looks similar to the uh, tiger one that Tita got me from Diamond Art Club. I don't know if that is the artist that does this. It very well could be a different one I've seen on there, but... That's a lot of dark. Her hat... Does her hat go all... Oh, it does go all the way to the corner up there. All right. I don't think it's the greatest looking picture right now. I don't know if it'll look okay with drills on it, but right now, I'd say it doesn't look the greatest. So, there she is. Again, drill field I don't think is going to be an issue. Look at all those J's up there. You got symbols and numbers and letters. I don't think she's going to be too bad, but but I'm not so sure she's going to be that great either. The tape doesn't look too bad. I see some waves here and here. But they don't really feel like they're sticking up too bad. So she might be fine. And again, like I said, purples, pinks, and blues. I don't want to know how many bags of black there are in here. 25 bags of 310. Yep. Alright, let's grab off this side. This one, oh, so this one is a uh, coloring book artist's work. Um, we have her in green, and this is her in brown. I think this might be the same coloring book artist. I couldn't think of the name last, one of my last videos I just uploaded. Um, pen. And it's by 179. I think that's readable enough. Look at those pretty colors. Ooh. Look at a nice brown here. I really like those colors. So yeah, we have her in like a, a... I think she's green in the other one that we have. So now we have her in green and brown. But again, I do know that this is from a coloring book. And I don't know which one is the one that the artist that did the coloring book colored and which one's somebody else's coloring. I think this one might be the artist's render of it. And the green one might have just been like another person's photo. Or the way they colored it. So, I really don't know. But I am pretty sure this is one of those artists that I recently was talking about that I wouldn't mind the coloring books from. So it's a softer canvas. We have 18 colors, small patches of colors kind of going around there. 
Doesn't look like anything's going to be difficult to read. Look at her. Nice lady. It's pretty. Grabbing from over here again. So this is one of those companies that has been everywhere. Like, I think I remember this company from AliExpress. And I think they're on Amazon too. Playing boat with nothing. And I'm going to need one of these because their drills are just loose. But, ooh, look at those colors. Gorgeous yellow and orange type colors here. Nice purples and greens. Some dark brown there. Will you stop eating paper? Decent colors. I like that color palette. I just don't like that they don't come in a bag. So, the name of the diamond painting is on each pack of drills. So also in one of my videos earlier, I mentioned that I was getting my mom a printer so she could print off labels for herself. I gave her her printer and she's like, I don't know how to use it. You're going to have to. It's like, okay. So. We are still to see if my mom is up for doing that herself. Hi. Hi. Trust me, you get more attention than the people. So we have 25 colors. It feels sticky on the back here. But you got a nice drill field. That is a nice drill field for you. I think they are going to be absolutely gorgeous. Done. So, sunflowers. I guess it's a little late for some flowers but that's okay now this one looks like it's gonna be very blocky can't even tell what this is right now oh this is that cat hugging the pumpkin which I definitely would say is stretched so you got Blue squishy, thin four placer, extra bags. That definitely looks stretched to me. I mean, you have wider pumpkins, but I don't know. Something about this cat does not look right. Maybe it's not stretched. Maybe it's just a weird looking cat. Will you stop? If he wants to go outside and play. She just went to the bathroom, but she's whining at the gate to go outside and play. The weird thing is, she doesn't really care about playing tug. She doesn't really care about playing fetch. She's a weird one. She's like, I want to play, but uh, nah. Let's play. You can throw the ball. I can run at it, look at it, and then you can go catch it yourself. And then we do that again. That's her personality. Or, oh, you want to play tug? I'll grab the leash and tug on the leash, but I'm not interested in a tug rope. 
It's hard to get her energy out when she doesn't want to play. D A two one. So one is one, two is two, down to eight, which is eight, then A down to X. All in order, nice. And the drill field looks nice and clear. Again, it is the old style, which looks kind of square. So it will look a little bit better done than it looks now. So you have oranges, yellows, blues, creams, browns. And the number of the canvas on the drills. Next one. So again, I'm going to say this one, I don't think you can get in a diamond painting without making it or buying a ripoff, but I think this is somebody's art. I'm not 100% positive about that because I've seen it all over the place and not just in diamond paintings either but I also found an artist on uh, what is it DeviantArt or something that has this picture and has their name on it so it came in two different bags weird so I'm, I'm really unsure if this one is in fact a ripoff or what but it's a really gorgeous Alice in Wonderland all the nice green and then the boat nothing pre-bagged and labeled by hand that is ZDA 120 not 2DA so darker color palette Gorgeous green in there, some pinks, grays, navy blues. So the listing for her had her in a 30 by 40 and a 40 by 50. I told my mom I really wanted her, but in the 40 by 50. The stick is really nice. So I don't know if my mom just bought her in this size, or if my mom got her in the size for her, but there isn't one of her in the larger size here, so... Again, I don't know how this how this works but personally for me she's too busy to be a 30 by 40 all that hair the hand on the cat there I just think that's too much 21 and got some color blocking there and there I mean what do you think that might turn out okay I definitely would like bigger though. And there's a clock there. So she's really pretty. All right, one more from this pile. So I recently saw this lady in a 40 by 70 as well. Now again, this company, they do have heavy dummy circles, so this looks worse now than it will look done. But again, I still think it might be better a size larger. I do think that it's going to look a lot better with the drills on, though. Look at these colors in here. I mean, they're pre-bagged while the bags are just thrown in randomly. But look at all those nice colors in there, and look how lacking in color this looks. So this will color up nicely. It should look a lot better done than it looks now. And if you can tell, that's a very heavy cover plastic sheet. Um, painting's name is over here on this one. I'm going to just put another sticker on it because I barely found that sticker. You know what? I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to put that sticker as an arrow pointing over to that sticker. Yes, I'm being lazy. Yes. 
overall I want to put a picture over it anyway, so. If I do what I want to do, my mom's never going to see the arrow other than in this video. Alright. 25 colors. And, again, like I said, this is going to look a lot more colorful with the drills on it that it looks now, but. The H's are a little blurry, the threes are a little blurry, so are the N's. I don't think you're going to have too much trouble reading it, but... And you can see the M and the N next to each other. You can definitely tell because the N's white, the M's black. And I think the M is clear and the N's fuzzy. So... There's this lady. Definitely think she'll look better done, but also think maybe a size larger. I don't know if a 40 by 70, honestly, is the size to go with. But a 40 by 50 would be nice. Alright, this one, I really want it. Goes to my animal friends. Again, feels like a softer canvas. But pretty sharp folds around it. Plain boat with nothing. Whites, blues, browns, grays, creams. Decent name on the bag. So this one's a Christmas scene. So you got a tree out here with all these bulbs or ornaments or whatever on it. They almost look glowing, so that's why I said bulbs. And then you have two cute kitties hugging each other and a little white mouse. Again, I don't know if these animal friend ones, as I'm calling them, are from a specific artist or what. I literally couldn't find them being from somebody or part of a set or anything it just found them in diamond paintings and stuff so if you know if these are from an artist or from a set of art or something if there's a way i could look these up specifically let me know because this is cute isn't it i love these little animal friends so we got 20 colors and a nice drill field. Definitely a nice drill field for you. A lot more confetti, I think, than a lot of people. I say that as I run across that huge color blocking area. But like that, there's a little patch of D's and a lot of D and F mixed together. So it does have its color blocking. And again, it's confetti. Like this guy here. It's mostly ours. You got the cute house here. Again, something you could live, liven up somehow with Aurora Borealis or rhinestones or something. Maybe make the lights shine a little bit better somehow. But very cute little kitties, aren't they? And the cute little white mouse. Again, all of these would honestly be better... A size larger but I think they look really good in this size still and I'm not sure I would want to do all of them in a 40 by 50 so I'll stick to 30 by 40s for these I think all right so let's get this last double-sided out of the way or is this Okay, this might not be a double-sided. It might just be folded around the drills the opposite way. Okay. Oh, look at how vivid that those eyes are and that skin. Ooh, that's pretty. That's prettier than I thought it was going to be. Look at her. I like her. Fat three-placer. Pre-bagged labels on here. I don't know the 
biggest green fan, but look. All the nice greens. Yellows. Pinks. White. Not my color palette, but at the same time, it looks gorgeous. And again, here she is. So gorgeous. I love how that green pops against the white skin. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I love purple against dark skin, and I apparently like green against white skin. Those green just, just pop. So cool. And I, I like that she's a, a light pink white. I don't know why... When it comes to diamond paintings, I almost like my albinos. <laughs> Maybe it's just because the color is a little less wrong normally. Normally the darker you seem to go on skin tone, sadly, the worse they seem to be able to figure out what skin tone is. So when you're looking at somebody that's almost albino like that, and you get a mix of white and light pink, it doesn't look as bad as getting some of the other colors in the darker skin. Maybe that's it? I don't know. I mean, I still think the, the black ladies look gorgeous, but I have definitely seen them mess up black skin, black fur, more than white and cream. But at the same note, a black cat is hard to see the face shape of sometimes in a real picture. So diamond painting having trouble with it, eh, right? <laughs> so we got 26 colors. And again, clear drill field. Look at those eyes though. I love those eyes. Little snake. So look at her. I really like that. And yes, I like snakes. I used to own snakes, so. I know some people will be turned away from that picture because they're snakes. I used to own snakes. I had a Mexican Black King snake. Um, Brooks King snake. I had a few corns. I had a ribbon snake. And... I had garter snakes. Again, a thinner canvas. Hmm. I think that's all the snakes I had. I looked at a bull snake once, and the second I went to grab it out of the cage to check it out, it tried to bite me. And I kind of flung it back on itself, and it bit itself. So that thing really did want to bite. And it's like, yeah, no, I don't think I'll be taking that home. <laughs> Um, my female black king bit me once and I didn't even know she bit me until I looked at my hand and saw her mouth just in my hand. It's like, oh, you bit me. Like, I literally didn't know. And she let go after I noticed that she was there. So like, she didn't immediately let go, but she did. I turned my hand, saw that her head was there. She was biting me and then she let go. That's the only time I had, well, other than a garter snake, I had a, like, newborn baby garter snake bite at my knuckle here. And, again, it smells like, eh. And it's like, uh, you can't do that snake. You're too small. <laughs> and that one actually held on for a while. That was kind of funny. But, yeah, again, didn't hurt. Don't know if it made small blood marks or not. But those are the only two run-ins I really had with... A snake although I had an albino king and she was an ass I would not handle her without a hook or something because all she wanted to do was murder and when she grabbed onto something she did not let go like she got onto a pillowcase or something once and I just had to let her have the pillowcase for about a good hour or so before she finally let go of it so <laughs> that snake was mean and I guess white 
snakes like that, the albinos have a harder time seeing, possibly, and that might have been part of it, but... Ooh, she was evil. <laughs> so we have 20 colors. And we got cute puppies in a basket. They look like they have a very clear drill field. A bit of color blocking. You have some symbols right there. I think they'll look okay once they're done. Good chunk of color there. I think that's a decent canvas. And like I said, it's slightly softer. But yeah, I used to really love my one uh, female black king. She'd go, I'd throw her around my neck and just go outside and walk around the block, walk through the yard, whatever, and just have her around my neck for a while. And I did the same thing with my Hypo Brooks King, which he was gorgeous. And then I had a male black king, and he was nice too. The corns were all nice. I got them all as adult snakes. They were already full grown when I got them. And who knows how old they already were. So I had them for a good few years before they passed away. But I definitely didn't have them from babies. I think one when I got it was already like five or ten. Or maybe it was one was five and the other was ten because I got two corn snakes at the same time. They had always been housed together. One was a brown and one was a red. Both males. Did I show you the dog colors? Green, blue, gray, orange type colors. It's bright pink there, grays. A little bit of blue in there. So yeah, a topic I'm guessing a lot of you guys don't like. A lot of people are, ooh, to most reptiles, let alone snakes. <laughs> I've always been fascinated by animals. There's like only two animals that I ooh at. It's like your centipede earwig things. Ugh. You know, no thank you to those. Um, millipedes are the one with the harder, rounder case, right? I don't mind those as much, but the centipede earwig things are, ugh. <laughs> and if everybody's like me, it's just like, oh, why'd you have to say that, right? So, yeah. Only two creatures I really don't care for, other than like mosquitoes and horseflies, stuff like that. But there you go. Pretty colors. I mean, gnats. Who likes gnats? Those tiny little things. You just walk through a swarm of them, and if you don't make sure your mouth is shut as you're walking through it, you're just swallowing a bunch of gnats. Ugh. So this is another one of those girls similar to the other two. This one looks a lot busier, so hopefully she turns out, but I don't know how well all of this is going to turn out. Like, this actually looks like it's supposed to be two birds here. Maybe it'll just look like nice random colors around the lady, or maybe it'll look wrong. So we got 18 colors here, and decent drill field. She does look pretty. Hopefully she looks pretty done and hopefully that at least turns out like a nice color blob or something. Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to look like a bird. So there's her. Alright, I have no idea how many I opened or how long I was standing here for, but there's two left. And then I gotta open all of mine. Which, again, is gonna be off video because they're the same things. I wish she looked better. Like, she might look better with the drills on her, but right now she doesn't look as appealing to me as I hoped. So you got a four placer in there, the nice thin one, squishy, extra bags. Blues, grays, pinks. Ooh, look at that bright red. And there's a little bit of like an orange cream in there, some purple. Hopefully she looks good. Ooh. 
she she's okay she's one of the block ear paintings she's not one of the paintings with the uh drawing under the letters so that's part of why she doesn't look very good right now she will look better done how much better is the question will she look nice or will she just look okay because in the picture i thought she was really pretty i know i've been getting a lot of ladies lately I've just been finding more ladies than animals, I guess. Or maybe I'm getting the same amount and I just feel like there's more ladies because there's equal ladies and animals now when there used to be almost no ladies. Who knows? So, she's supposed to be really gorgeous. Like, kind of that black ink but with like pink splattered on it. 27 colors. And again, they're like the square shape. But it is not a square canvas. So it will look better done. Those D's and J's aren't great. Hopefully it won't be an issue with the light pad behind it. Sorry about the camera shaking. The dog's going a little crazy. Hey! Stop! Alright, so. Hopefully those eyes turn out and... Hopefully she looks nice when she's done. So there's that lady. And that's every... Oh, no, that's not everybody. Sorry, don't listen to me. Alright. This is one of Mom's girls from that artist that she likes. Again, I can't remember the three initials. I was going to look it up, and I can't remember. Little bags. And there's the picture of the lady. I mean, there literally is thousands of this. This artist has made thousands of these. So, if my mom's trying to collect them all, she's going to have some fun. <laughs> Has my mom finished one of these yet? Hmm. I don't know. And I don't think I've finished one of my animal friends yet either. Maybe I'll do that Christmas animal friend for Christmas or something. So. Again, H's are kind of blurry. You have dummy circles. Overall, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to read. You have 22 colors. And this might look like a mess, sadly. I think it's just, yeah, hearts. They're just... Oh, there's two dragons. There's a purple dragon and a green dragon. Is that a green dragon right there? I think it's a purple dragon and a green dragon and then a red and blue heart. Uh, I don't know how that's going to look. Yeah, there's the eye. And there's an eye. So there's a purple dragon, a green dragon, a red and blue heart. Hopefully it turns out. I think the girl's face will turn out okay, but I'm not sure about the bottom of the photo. So we have this girl. And then that is everything for this one. Again, this is an Amazon painting. Uh, along with a bag over here that's Amazon, and then I have a bag over there that's another PR package. So I will get to those soon, but I have definitely had enough standing here showing you paintings for now. I'm going to go watch some videos. Maybe get my red, black, and white geisha done. I haven't worked on her lately. I just... I don't know, when I grabbed down a painting last time, it was the uh, Diamond Art Club one that T gave me. And uh, the square coral lady. It just, even though I could get that geisha done in one sitting, I just keep grabbing one of the other ones. I don't know just how it's happened. So, 
hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, and morning. Hopefully your day, night, and morning continues to go well. Hopefully you guys find time to sit back and do something you find relaxing, even if that isn't diamond painting. Or watch a nice movie in diamond paint. Um, I've watched quite a bit more movies lately. So, that's what I've been spending my time doing, is watching movies sometimes without diamond painting, just watching movies. Um, I have something that I want to show you guys soon. I'm working on a website where I have all my diamond paintings organized. And so I want to share that with you guys soon, and then that way you guys can maybe tell me which painting you think you'd like to see next. Um, we'll see what happens there though. I got pretty much all of my old paintings uploaded. I, however, don't have quite a few of the last videos I've uploaded paintings on there. So we'll see what I get updated and if I just think it's okay to let it go with that and then I'll update them as I update them. So again... Hopefully everybody has a nice day, night, and morning. Hopefully it continues to go well, and hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys feel like it, if you keep watching my videos, hit the subscribe. You don't have to have notifications on if you don't want to, but hey, it's nice to know that a few more of you like the channel.